first things first, new walkout song. Yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was that decision? Uh, you what, know, what was the song for it? Uh, the song I came out to was uh, Billy Squire, uh, Stroke. Um, I don't know, I just heard it a couple weeks ago and I was like, I'm coming out to this. <laughs> you know, I was just, uh, you know, going for my runs, I don't know, I've been on a Billy Squire kick, so. It was like, yeah, you know, I mean, sometimes you just feel it. So I was like, this is a good strutting song. You know, I'll come out to this, try to peacock my way out there. Did it feel good when you walked out and heard the new song? I don't know how long you walked out to the year. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, uh, you know, they say, yeah, you want to come out to a song that the fans are going to recognize and all that stuff. But it's really about, you know, the fighter and, and what you're feeling. Um, so, yeah, I just kind of, you know, I had been coming out to CCR and, I don't know, I kind of changed my attitude in the way that I approach fights and the way that I come out. I used to come out very, very aggressive and feeding off of that, that intensity from kind of the fear uh, of the unknown. Um, but, you know, this is my 20th fight, man, and, and I've been in there against, you know, world champions and, you know, title contenders. Um, so I'm a lot more comfortable and a lot calmer in there, and um, it's led to some, some, you know, some good finishes for me. So. Um, I'm just going out to have fun, man, you know, and you see the old videos of, you know, Couture and, and Hughes coming out and they're smiling and, you know, and, and just happy to be there, you know, and, and I'm happy to, to step into the cage. I'm, I'm happy to be in there, man. It's a, it's a, it's a different feeling than those first, you know, dozen or so, and, and uh, I, I love it. I just love it. Speaking of how you're feeling, your favorite in the yeah. arm. You got a little beat up when you're gimping. How you, what, what's going on with you right now? Uh, you know, I'm banged up, you know, and, and you go in for, to do a 15 minute fight. Uh, you know, that's that's my first split decision, you know, that I've had. Um, I, you know, I want to be banged up. You know, uh, my last fight, I kind of, I dropped the ball, you know. I, I, uh, I had a rough cut and, and, you know, things just weren't going my way leading up to the fight and then I kind of, I kind of bonked inside the cage, and um, I came out of that fight not breathing heavy, you know, not hurt, not a mark on me, you know, and it was uh, it was disappointing, you know, because I, I try to go in there and I try to I try to leave everything inside the cage, and I try to I try to win, uh, you know, violently and, and dynamically, and, and if you're gonna do that, when you go down, you, you go down in flames, you know, and and that fight, you know, it, it was just disappointing, you know, because it's uh, I'd rather get finished. You know, I'd rather go out and, and come out with a, you know, potentially broken arm um, than, than come out completely unscathed, you know, and, and it, it's a fight. And that's, that's to be expected. I expect to get hurt. I expect to get bloody. I expect to get tired. Um, and when it doesn't happen, I want to be on the winning end, you know, and hearing somebody else's name and not being tired and not being hurt, uh, it, was, it was crappy, you know, it was embarrassing. Um, so, you know, coming out with the, with the W, um, you know, wasn't, wasn't my prettiest, prettiest victory. You know, my hat's off to Danny. He's a, he's a tough dude. Um, you know, he's, he's been in there with some of the best on the planet. Um, but, you know, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling, feeling being in there with, with him for 15 minutes, you know, and, and uh, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt to get around for a couple of days, and, and that's just the name of the game. Speaking of expectations, did you expect the high volume kicking offense that Danny Castillo brought this time around? He's worked on his boxing a lot of the years, but the Bang Ludwig, mm -hmm. TJ Dillashaw thing was quite obvious. I mean, he fought much more akin to the bantamweight champion than himself in this mm -hmm. particular fight, and I'm assuming that's what jacked the left arm up, maybe blocking some of those kicks. Did you expect that volume of kicking and that kind of kicking from Castillo? Um, I didn't expect the volume. Um, you know, it. Uh, I, I train to be the absolute best martial artist I can be, and, and um, the whole idea is to to be my best, you know, and, and whatever my opponent comes out with, whatever style they come out with, whatever technique they come out with, um, I expect to be able to deal with it. It doesn't matter if, you know, they come out, uh, they've, they've been a boxer, a straight boxer or a straight wrestler for years and they come out as a, you know, fighting like a, a 35 pounder where you're in and out, change of stance. Um, I, I trained to beat everything, um, you know, so it was, uh, yeah, he, I, I let him hit me with a little too many of those, you know, and absorbed them. Um, you know, I was lucky enough that none of the kicks really caught me flush. Uh, probably the one that caught me the most was that very first one, you know, but I was able to take him down, get down to position, and, and kind of get my bearings back. Um, but I, I absorbed uh, quite a few to the arm, and then, uh, 
it hurts to hold it up right now. So. <laughs> it is very rare that someone who's in a close fight says that they think they lost. I assume you think you won. But more importantly, when you heard the final decisive scorecard being 30-27, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you very well may have won round one and round three. Round two seemed like the most decisive round mm -hmm. for Castillo. When you heard that, did you think, oh, I'm done? Uh, no, when I heard the 30-27, I knew that I won. Um, you know, it was, it was a close fight, and... Uh, you know, it can always go either way, you know, and it's it's cliche to say it, you know, don't leave it in the hands of the judges and, you know, um, but, you know, when I'm in the fight, I, I'm seeing the fight through my eyes and there's not a single person on this planet that's ever going to see that fight like I saw it and there's nobody that's going to see it like Danny saw it. Um, so it's hard for me to be in a fight and then immediately say, what does it look like being scored from somebody sitting on the outside? Because, like I said, a lot of those kicks really didn't, didn't land that well and kick him into the arm. I mean, do you really score it that heavily? If it's a Muay Thai match. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it, was, it was starting to pull my hand down, you know, and if he was able to capitalize on that, then, you know, that would have scored points. But um, from, from what I know of the fight right now, I'm, I'm confident in the judge's decision. Uh, like I said, I'm not in it to win a decision. Uh, you know, you're not going to see me get excited about it. Even if I ever won the title by decision, I'm not going to be running around screaming and, you know, and, and hooting and hollering. Um, I go in to, to dominate my opponent. Is there any a, like, a particular difficulty in the position you're at at 155 right now? Lightweight is pretty much considered the best division in mixed martial arts. It gets deeper and deeper all the time. And where you're not necessarily a guy that's right on the cusp of a title shot, you're consigned to fighting guys like a top up and comer like Benil Dariush, where the idea is, let's see how good he is mm -hmm. against a veteran like Jim Miller. Or you fight a guy like Danny Castillo who's got his back to the wall and like needs a major victory so you know you're getting a mm -hmm. different kind of opponent. You're not necessarily getting star-laden guys and you're getting uh, tough guys in the toughest division in MMA. I mean, that's an unenviable position. Can you comment on that? Uh, I enjoy it. You know, I, I like to fight. Um, you know, and, and I've got no problem having a, having a bullseye on my chest. Um, but know, do you ever think like, man, if only I was a heavyweight, all these guys would catch a knee bar? Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's like, I, I think about like, uh, every time I'm sitting in the bathtub, sweating off pounds, being miserable, it's like, man, screw this, you know, I'm going up. But then it's like, okay, well you go up to 70s and it's a, you know, it's a shark tank as well. And it's probably the division where guys cut the most weight. So it's like, right, I'll just go up to 85. You know, I walk around at 85, I start carrying weight a little bit lower on my hips, my, my center of gravity drops. And I actually move people around a lot easier walking around at a buck 85. So it's like, okay, screw 70s, I'm going all the way up, you know? And it's a different, different dynamic, you know? You get thrown in there and you're just in there to fight. And, you know, I mean, I've trained with Dan. He's fought some of the best guys on the planet at 85. And uh, I know if I fought my fight, you know, obviously they're bigger and stronger than me. Uh, but if I can use my speed, I'd, I'd, I'd do well. But being at 55, uh, you know, I enjoy it. You know, it's, uh, except for that freaking weight cut. <laughs>